Cabinet Minister Thakur Raja, a young cabinet minister, glanced through the notes of his secretary regarding the recent controversies on racket, the most popular game of the country. While International Racket Association has agreed to implement drug testing code, the racket club which controls the entire racket related activities had some reservations regarding the initiative. A majority of the citizens eagerly awaited their country's participation and performance at the international competitions during the Champions Trophy. Due to the popularity of the game, 70% of the total revenue associated with the game originates from the country. Hence, the racket club has earned high bargaining power with the IRA and can influence decisions not aligned with its interests. Three of the most popular and senior players of the club, including the captain, are against the imposition of DTC, citing security reasons. A decision against the interest of these players might result in law and order problems throughout the country. Other players support the decision of their senior colleagues and if the racket club refuses, players may support the rebel counter racket club, a new national level initiative. The counter racket club can challenge the monopoly of the racket club if it succeeds in attracting some popular players. Continued. Raja was a great soccer player and has major reservations against racket. According to him, racket has negative influence on the country's youth and distracts them from productive work. He also considers drug testing as an essential feature of any sports and, and games across the world. As a new cabinet minister for youth and sports, he needs to take some important decisions on this contentious issue. I love doing this one. I quite enjoyed solving this because I don't know if you have picked it. It's a direct parallel between um, ICC, BCCI, cricket, drug testing and senior players and uh, BCCI's role, BCCI's power with the ICC, 70% revenue, the whole shebang. This is actually uh, happened in real life except that uh, um, forget about it. We'll, I'll, we'll worry about the real life part after we solve this. Fine. So there is this parallel to some real context here. Fine. So very interesting scenario. The obviously racket association uh, carries some clout. The, the racket club carries some clout with the IRA, the Rack International Racket Association, because it generates seventy percent of the revenue. So it has significant bargaining power. Right. The drug testing code. Uh, uh, the IRA has agreed to implement a drug testing code and, and a few senior players are saying uh, my security is an issue and I'll walk out of this right so some of the other players support it and they want to create a, 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 a counter racket club remember this guy Thakur Raja is a cabinet minister he does not uh, need to get involved in racket club and counter racket club issues the, for all intents and purposes the racket club and counter racket club could be could be associations that run this game, but uh, but Thakur Raja cannot be directly uh, involved. In, in 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 perhaps he would want to stay away from that conflict. He would want to, that conflict to not happen. And so, very interesting, sir. Let's see the questions and then see where this goes after that. If Thakur Raja wants to create a lasting impact, the most reasonable option for him to a lasting impact. That means he doesn't want controversy. He wants to move the game forward. He wants to make sure that uh, uh, racket club continues, does good work. The IRA is kept happy. The drug testing committee or DTC, I don't know what it stands for, I forgot. The drug testing code is either complied with or the IRA goes easy on it. One of the two. Let's look at this. The most reasonable option. Ban racket as a sport out. I think it's negative influence on youth. It's a very popular game. Uh, it can even cause law and order problems if pay people are affected. You don't ban the sport. Enforce drug testing while providing adequate security to the players. This seems very reasonable. I'm already liking this choice. Enforce drug testing. He has a stand on drug testing. He believes that drug testing is essential. Uh, so the concern raised by the players has been on security. So provide security, we should be good. Force the racket club to accept all regulations related to rack testing. Force the racket club. I don't like that word. Force this on them. Ban that. Uh, demolish that. Uh, restrict that. Don't listen to them. Uh, remove their voting powers. All of those look like unilateral decisions. When we don't like choices that, that, that look to be unilateral decisions. So all of these are business situations or political situations or, or uh, social cultural situations. You need to bring people together, get them all to agree, each one gives something and then we go forward. Right? So I don't like that verb force. 
align with counter racket club and reinforce their initiatives racket club might have his flaws they might listen to their players might have clout with the ira which they are which they are using in many ways but they have been running the sport so one fine morning align with align, uh, 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 cabinet minister saying i'll uh, i'll go after and support this rebel group this is what this counter racket club is going to be it's not even completely formed so for the mainstream cabinet minister to go and support a rebel group again what you want you want to make sure that the racket club comes on board with your idea you don't want to go and join a counter racket club on on day one get cop popular racket players to endorse soccer could be a brilliant idea but it has nothing to do with this case right so enforce drug testing while providing adequate security so security is issue remove that fear enforce this we are good to go identify the best argument for raja to decide in favor of the ira that is to say dtc is on board we will do drug testing can justify his decision citing his position as a cabinet minister i don't want this this is a not not a good choice it's like saying a parent saying i told you so you got to do it because i told you so this is more or less than i told you so i have the power you have to follow what i am trying to say that is the use of the power as a play to try to make changes the most popular sport in in the country so this this has got something going for it you don't want to ram things through just because you are the cabinet minister the next world cup is scheduled to be held in a country which has made dtc mandatory this this could be a killer you want to get the racket club on board you got to tell them dude i see what you're doing i see some people have concerns but this is important the drug testing code is mandatory so if you don't get on board this then we have trouble it is not just the ira the entire country which has made dtc mandatory so it's not just racket it is everything else so the world cup is going to be conducted in this country if 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 the sport is not dtc compliant if our country is not dtc compliant our entire participation could be in trouble so figure out a way to fix this that would put pressure and it's a wonderful argument raja is interested in making racket less popular in the country that's not a good argument in favor of ira to say racket is popular will still comply with dtc what ira says is good dtc is good without dtc we cannot do we need to have that on board that's got to be his argument not this three of the top international teams are keen on implementing dtc yes this is good because you can say look china us and germany are interested in doing this they are good countries they are top international teams they are keen on doing dtc they have found out a way to work with uh, the security concerns so we should follow suit too that's a that's a good reason and that's a good good pitch good argument so this is something that we should consider seriously oops raja and the president of the racket club are political opponents and could use the present issue to to settle their mutual scores i don't want any choice that says settle their mutual scores so it's between b and d the next world cup being scheduled is a better choice the, the three top international teams that are doing this their international teams they are top but our security concerns could be very different from theirs they might not even have security concern one so uh, th this is not a compelling enough argument so some the, the people can say look their concerns are not similar to ours we have separate issues we have got more bargaining power we don't need to listen just because three of the top teams are are doing it because we account for 70% of the revenue those could be the counter arguments to that whereas if the world cup is going to be scheduled then you're uh, you're you really have got to comply and that could be a more compelling argument than d so b is the right answer according to dtc each athlete sports person needs to submit their schedule for the next 3 months specifying an hour each day when they can be randomly tested for drugs right so dtc also ensures the confidentiality of the submitted schedule by limiting access of player supplied information only to two senior officers allowing these officers to access the schedule of only those sports person who are randomly selected for testing introducing similar security features for dtc database as is the case with financial institutions right so security is an issue privacy is an issue confidentiality is an issue so the dtc goes uh, out of its way to reassure uh, the sportsmen and the authorities that they will take sufficient care about information confidentiality uh, secrecy security all of that right? 
the top three popular players realized security is the only reason for them to get a favorable decision from Raja. Hence, during discussion, they should focus on all options except. They should keep on saying that this can compromise our security. Any leak of their private schedules may result in huge public gathering and will make the job of security agencies very difficult. This is true. So if it knows that the top racket player is attending a wedding function in um, in, in in Lucknow on December 26th, good chance that there will be like 100,000 people waiting to see him. That poses a security risk. That is true. Recent report includes their country to be among top five nations vulnerable to data security beach. True. So, data security can be breached. And that's a, that's a concern. And so, the DTC could be a DTC database could be international, but data breach is uh, likely in their country. So they have to worry about it. DTC is unwilling to share details with security agencies of officers involved in the background check. This could also be an issue if DTC is coming on board. All of these. Uh, uh, share details with security agencies of officers involved in background check they're not willing to share the details of the officers involved in the background check so the dtc is playing its cards close to the chest they will say it is because of uh, of, of of confidentiality issues but it could compromise security so this is a, this is something that we'll fall back on if we get no other choice but this appears to be true it is difficult to provide adequate security coverage in large stadiums where racket is played. That is probably true. Fine. But is that the reason for citing against DTC? The drug testing code, that fact is for individual players for one hour. So you can argue against security saying people will know where I am, there is going to be leak of information, confidentiality is gone, privacy is gone, security will be compromised if there is some leak somewhere. But if racket is going to be played in, in, in in, in Alpha Beta Gamma Stadium in Mumbai on December 28th, probably everybody in that region knows it six months ago, six months prior to that. And so, therefore, there is no security concern because of DTC on this. So, this is the argument they cannot put forward. So far, this looks like the best choice. So security concern is there, no doubt about it. If racket is played, then security concern is there. But it's got nothing to do with DTC with drug testing. Everybody knows they are going to play a match. Popular racket players are on the hit list of terrorist organization. This is also a sound argument saying look anything that we do against uh, racket players popular ones is a risk because the, their security is uh, paramount and there are lots of people who are interested in compromising their, their safety and security. So A, B, C and D are arguments that they can post forward but D has got nothing to do with DTC.